The year is 2024. The world watches with bated breath as tensions between Russia and Europe escalate to a fever pitch. The drums of war beat louder, casting a long shadow over the continent. The unthinkable, once relegated to the realm of Cold War paranoia, now appears a chilling possibility, a full-scale Russian invasion of Europe. What was once a distant fear is now a present danger. The stakes could not be higher. Such a conflict would have devastating consequences not only for Europe but for the entire world. Millions of lives hang in the balance. The global economy, already fragile, would be thrown into chaos. The very foundations of the international order, painstakingly built over decades, could crumble. This is not a time for complacency. We must confront the possibility of war with clear eyes and steady resolve. We must understand the historical context that has brought us to this precipice. We must analyze the potential military strategies and countermeasures that could come into play. And we must grapple with the profound economic, political and social ramifications of such a conflict. The future of Europe, and perhaps the world, hangs in the balance. The choices we make today will determine the course of history for generations to come. We must choose wisely, for the consequences of failure are too terrible to contemplate. The specter of war looms large over Europe, the time to act is now. To understand the current crisis we must look back at the long and troubled history of Russia's relationship with Europe. From the Napoleonic Wars to the Crimean War, from the Two World Wars to the Cold War, the continent has been repeatedly scarred by conflict. The echoes of these past struggles reverberate in the present, shaping the geopolitical landscape. The Cold War in particular cast a long shadow over Europe. For decades the continent was divided by an iron curtain, a physical and ideological barrier separating the communist East from the capitalist West. The threat of nuclear annihilation hung heavy in the air. Though the Cold War ended with the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, its legacy continues to haunt us. The expansion of NATO eastward, the annexation of Crimea by Russia in 2014, and the ongoing conflict in eastern Ukraine are all symptoms of the unresolved tensions that linger from the Cold War era. These events remind us that history is not simply a collection of past events, it is a living force that shapes the present and the future. The ghosts of the past have returned to haunt Europe. The current crisis is not merely a replay of the Cold War, however. The geopolitical landscape has shifted dramatically in recent decades. The rise of new global powers, the proliferation of advanced weapons technology, and the growing interconnectedness of the world economy have created a far more complex and volatile environment. In the event of a Russian attack on Europe, the military strategies employed by both sides would be crucial in determining the course of the conflict. Russia, with its vast military resources and nuclear arsenal, would pose a formidable challenge to NATO forces. The nature of modern warfare with its emphasis on speed, maneuverability and technological superiority would make for a highly fluid and unpredictable battlefield. Russia might employ a blitzkrieg-style offensive seeking to overwhelm NATO defenses with a rapid and overwhelming assault. Cyber warfare, electronic jamming, and disinformation campaigns could be used to disrupt communication and sow confusion among NATO forces. Russia might also target critical infrastructure such as power grids, transportation networks, and communication systems to cripple the enemy's ability to wage war. NATO, for its part, would rely on its collective defense capabilities, air power, and advanced technology to counter the Russian threat. A coordinated defense leveraging the strengths of member states would be essential to deter aggression. NATO might also employ economic sanctions and diplomatic pressure to isolate Russia and undermine its war effort. The conflict would likely involve a complex interplay of conventional forces, special operations, cyber warfare, and information warfare. The outcome of such a conflict is far from certain. The fog of war, with its inherent uncertainty and chaos, would make it difficult to predict the course of events. The human cost, both in terms of military casualties and civilian suffering, would be immeasurable. The conflict would leave a lasting scar on the continent, reshaping the geopolitical landscape for generations to come. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, formed in 1949 as a bulwark against Soviet expansionism, has been the cornerstone of European security for over seven decades. The alliance, based on the principle of collective defense, stipulates that an attack on one member is considered an attack on all. In the event of a Russian invasion of Europe, 
NATO's unity and resolve would be put to the ultimate test. The alliance faces several challenges in confronting a resurgent Russia. Despite its collective defense commitment, NATO members have varying levels of military capability and political will. Some members may be hesitant to commit fully to a conflict with Russia, fearing escalation or retaliation. The alliance must also contend with internal divisions and disagreements over strategy, burden sharing and the overall direction of the organization. Moreover, Russia has actively sought to undermine NATO solidarity through propaganda, disinformation and cyber attacks. It has also cultivated relationships with certain NATO members, seeking to exploit existing fissures within the alliance. These efforts aim to weaken NATO's resolve and create divisions that could hinder a coordinated response to Russian aggression. The effectiveness of NATO's response would depend on several factors, including the speed and decisiveness of its decision-making, the level of military commitment from member states, and the ability to maintain unity in the face of Russian pressure. A strong and united NATO would be crucial in deterring further aggression and defending European security. Beyond the battlefield economic fallout and global recession, the economic consequences of a major conflict in Europe would be profound and far-reaching. Russia, being a major energy supplier to Europe, any disruption to its energy exports would have severe repercussions for European economies. The interconnectedness of the global economy means that the impact would be felt worldwide, potentially triggering a global recession. The imposition of economic sanctions on Russia would likely lead to retaliatory measures, further disrupting global trade and investment. Financial markets would be thrown into turmoil as investors flee to safe haven assets. The value of the euro and other European currencies could plummet, leading to inflation and economic instability. The conflict would also disrupt global supply chains as businesses struggle to cope with the uncertainty and volatility. The price of essential commodities, such as food and energy, would soar, exacerbating existing inequalities and potentially leading to social unrest. The economic fallout would be felt most acutely by vulnerable populations, who are least able to cope with the rising cost of living. The long-term economic consequences are difficult to predict with certainty, but they would likely be severe and long-lasting. The conflict would damage investor confidence, discourage foreign investment, and hinder economic growth. The reconstruction and recovery effort would require massive investment and international cooperation, placing a significant strain on national budgets and the global financial system. The Information War Propaganda and Public Opinion In the digital age, the battle for hearts and minds is as important as the battle on the ground. A Russian invasion of Europe would be accompanied by a sophisticated information war aimed at influencing public opinion, undermining morale, and sowing discord among NATO members. Russia has a long history of using propaganda and disinformation to achieve its strategic objectives. It has invested heavily in its state-controlled media, which disseminates a carefully curated narrative designed to justify its actions and demonize its opponents. Social media platforms are also used to spread disinformation, sow discord, and manipulate public opinion. The information war would target both domestic and international audiences. Within Russia, the government would seek to rally public support for the war effort, portraying it as a defensive measure against NATO aggression. In Europe, the aim would be to undermine public trust in governments, sow fear and uncertainty, and weaken support for NATO. The effectiveness of the information war would depend on several factors, including the credibility of Russian propaganda, the reach of its disinformation campaigns, and the ability of NATO members to counter these efforts. A robust and coordinated response involving fact-checking, media literacy initiatives, and public awareness campaigns would be essential to mitigate the impact of Russian disinformation. The Refugee Crisis Human Cost and Humanitarian Aid A major conflict in Europe would trigger a massive refugee crisis, as millions of people flee the violence and seek safety elsewhere. The scale of displacement would dwarf anything seen in recent history, putting immense strain on neighboring countries and the international humanitarian system. The exodus of refugees would pose significant logistical, economic, and social challenges. Providing shelter, food, water, and medical care to millions of displaced people would require a massive humanitarian effort, involving governments, international organizations, and non-governmental organizations. The influx of refugees would also put pressure on social services, housing, and employment in receiving countries. 
The refugee crisis would also have political ramifications, potentially fueling xenophobia, nationalism, and social unrest. Governments would face the difficult task of balancing humanitarian concerns with national security considerations, as well as managing public anxieties about the impact of large-scale immigration. The international community would need to respond swiftly and effectively to the humanitarian crisis, providing financial and logistical support to countries hosting refugees. A coordinated effort, involving burden-sharing among nations, would be essential to address the immediate needs of refugees and to mitigate the long-term consequences of the crisis. The most terrifying aspect of a potential conflict between Russia and Europe is the specter of nuclear war. Russia possesses a vast nuclear arsenal, and its military doctrine allows for the use of tactical nuclear weapons in certain scenarios. The possibility of nuclear escalation, however remote, casts a long shadow over the crisis. The use of nuclear weapons would have catastrophic consequences resulting in unimaginable death and destruction. The radioactive fallout would contaminate vast areas, rendering them uninhabitable for generations. The environmental impact would be global in scale, potentially triggering a nuclear winter that could devastate agriculture and lead to widespread famine. The threat of nuclear war is a reminder of the stakes involved in the current crisis. It underscores the need for restraint, diplomacy, and de-escalation. The international community must work together to prevent the unthinkable from happening by engaging in dialogue, building trust, and seeking peaceful resolutions to the conflict. The nuclear shadow serves as a stark warning. The consequences of failure are too terrible to contemplate. The survival of humanity depends on our ability to avoid the abyss of nuclear war. A major conflict in Europe would have profound geopolitical consequences, reshaping the global order and leading to a realignment of alliances. The current international system, based on the principles of multilateralism and cooperation, would be severely tested. The conflict would likely deepen divisions between Russia and the West, leading to a new Cold War characterized by mistrust, hostility, and the risk of escalation. The United States, as the leader of NATO, would be drawn into the conflict, potentially straining its relationships with other countries and undermining its global leadership. The crisis could also create opportunities for other global powers, such as China, to assert their influence and reshape the international order to their advantage. Regional powers might also see an opportunity to advance their interests amid the chaos and uncertainty. The conflict would accelerate the trend toward a multipolar world, where power is more diffuse and no single country or bloc holds absolute dominance. This new world order would be characterized by greater competition, instability, and the potential for conflict. The rules, norms, and institutions that have governed international relations for decades would be challenged and potentially overturned. The prospect of a major war in Europe is a sobering reminder of the fragility of peace and the importance of diplomacy, dialogue, and cooperation. The lessons learned from past conflicts, particularly the devastating consequences of two world wars, must guide our actions in the present. Preventing war requires a multifaceted approach involving diplomacy, deterrence, and a willingness to address the underlying causes of conflict. Diplomatic efforts must focus on de-escalating tensions, building trust, and finding common ground. Deterrence requires a credible military capability and a clear demonstration of resolve to defend NATO territory. Addressing the root causes of conflict, such as historical grievances, economic disparities, and political instability, is essential for achieving lasting peace. This requires a long-term commitment to dialogue, cooperation, and the promotion of democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. The path to peace is fraught with challenges, but the alternative is too terrible to contemplate. We must learn from the mistakes of the past and work together to build a more peaceful and secure future. The possibility of a Russian attack on Europe is a stark reminder of the fragility of peace and the ever-present threat of conflict in the 21st century. The consequences of such a conflict would be catastrophic, not only for Europe but for the entire world. The human cost, the economic fallout and the geopolitical ramifications would be profound and long-lasting. The future remains uncertain. The choices we make today will determine the course of history for generations to come. 
We must choose wisely, prioritizing diplomacy, dialogue, and de-escalation. We must learn from the mistakes of the past and work together to build a more peaceful and secure future. The stakes could not be higher. The survival of humanity may depend on our ability to avoid the abyss of war.